It's gonna be a little rough, okay, because the steps are kind of long. Um, so, my suggestion to you would be to number these, equation one and equation two. That's gonna be your first step, okay? Okay, now, which equation says y equals? The first one, okay? So, we can see that the first one says y equals. So, essentially, you're always gonna use the y equals, okay? And I always circle it and draw an arrow to the y, okay? Um, and so, everywhere there's a y, you can plug in the stuff that says y equals. So, it's gonna look like this. Negative 2x, I'm using this equation, plus 5. Okay, and instead of y, we're substituting this part. We know y equals this, okay? So we got negative 8x minus 1. Equals negative 5, okay? This equation is this equation. I got negative 2x plus 5. And this is my y equals negative 5, okay? I took part of that and I plugged it into the other one, okay? And so now we're going to be solving this equation. Well, anytime you have parentheses, you need to do what? Distribute, okay? So I'm going to have negative 2x, 5 times negative 8 is going to be negative 40x, 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. Okay, now what? Look at the equation. What do you need to do? Combine like terms. Combine like terms. So we can put the what together? Yeah, okay. So these ones are going to give you a negative 42x minus 5 equals negative 5. Okay, and then what? Add five. And I did not leave enough room, so that's my bad. So I got negative 42x equals, what is negative five plus five? Zero. Zero. Okay, and then what? Divide. Divide. What is zero divided by negative 42? Zero. zero. Okay, so we have solved for x. Okay, and somewhere in here, I would probably circle it. Okay, now, we know what x is. Do we know what y is? Okay, we don't, okay? So you're gonna take the part that you solved and you're gonna plug it into the part that you circled above. Okay, and that's just the easiest way to to do that, okay? So essentially, it's gonna get plugged in here, okay? So you're gonna have y equals negative eight, and now we know what x is. What is x? Zero. zero minus one. Well, what is negative eight times zero? Zero, zero minus one. Negative one. Okay, and same thing, um, and you guys can cross off number three and write below it if you need to. We're going to flip flop through this one because I did not leave enough room, so I apologize. Um, okay, so now the same way that you did yesterday, your answer goes in a coordinate. Okay, what is that coordinate? Zero, negative one. Zero, comma, negative one. Okay, and that looks like the solution that you saw yesterday in that coordinate form. Um, it's just you don't have a graph to solve it, okay? Now, I know the steps are kind of crazy. The more that you do it, the better you'll get, and it just comes super easy, okay? For some of you guys that are really good at the, like, step-by-step -step algebra steps, it'll probably be pretty easy for you, okay? Go to number five. Okay, and this is what I was saying. You don't have to cross off, like, three all the way, but if you need some extra room, like cross it off and then write down below. Okay, so five, our first step is to label these equations. Equation one, equation two. Which one says y equals? The 
second one. So you're going to circle it. Okay, and then it gets plugged into the one above or below, the other one, essentially. Okay. So it's going to look like 3x plus 8, and my y is what? 5x minus 3 equals what? 19. Okay, what's my next step? Distribute. Okay, so I got 3x plus 8 times 5, 40x, 8 times negative 3, negative 24 equals 19. Okay, now what? Yeah, so we can put what together? The 3 and the 40 to give me what? 43x minus 24 equals 19. Okay, and then what? Add 24. Add 24. All right, so I got 43x equals 43. Somebody agree? Okay, and then what? Divide by 43. X is going to equal what? One. Okay, where do we plug that into? Okay, we're going to plug it into the one that you have circled above, which is equation what? Two. Two. Okay. Okay, so it's always going to get plugged into whatever you have circled up here. Okay, so I got y equals five. What's my x? One. one. Minus 3. What is 5 times 1? 5 minus 3. 2. Two. Okay, how do I write this in a coordinate? 1, 2. Okay, it always goes x comma y. Okay, look at seven. What's our first step? What's the very first thing you should do? Number, number it. Okay, and we're gonna circle which one? The second one. Why the second one? Because it's y equals. Okay, I don't expect you to get all the steps today, but you should get a couple, okay? Like numbering it, circling it, okay? Um, okay, where does that one get plugged into? into the other one, okay, for the y. Okay, so it's going to be 4x plus 6. What is my y? 9. Negative 4x plus 8 equals 8. Okay, what's my next step? Distribute. Distribute. Okay, so I got 4x, 6 times negative 4. Negative 24x, 6 times 8. 48. 48. 
equals a. Okay, now what? Combine. So 24 and negative 4. Negative 20x plus 48 equals 8. Okay, then what? Subtract 48. Why don't we do the 48 first? Yeah, but why not the 20? Yes, okay, so we move the piece that has a letter last, okay? So the piece that has no letter, we move it first. Okay, so I got minus 48. So I got negative 20x equals negative 40. Divide by negative 20. Gonna be two. what two. Where do we plug that into? The one we circled. Okay. Okay, we plug it in up here to the one we circled. So it's gonna be y equals negative 4 times 2 plus 8. Okay, and that you can type in your calculator just like that. You can type in negative 4 parentheses, uh, 2 close parentheses plus 8, and it'll do the whole thing for you. Okay, so what is negative 4 times 2? Negative 8 plus 8. 0. Okay, so y is going to equal 0. Okay, what is this as a coordinate? Two comma zero. Good. Can I scroll? Okay, 11, what's our first step? Label the equations. Okay, second step. Circle what? Okay, which one is that? Yes, the first one. Okay, and we're gonna plug it into the other equation. Okay, so it's gonna look like 8x plus four. What is my y? Negative four. Negative four. Okay, so sometimes it's an equation like this one, you would plug in this whole thing. Okay, this one, we're plugging in this thing. Okay, so it's negative four equals negative 24. Okay, what's our next step? Before that. Yeah, okay, so four times negative four, negative 16. Okay, now normally you would combine like terms. Is there stuff for us to combine? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's because the y was so simple, okay? The y was so simple, it was just negative four and nothing else. So on this one, there's you kind of get to skip some steps. It's definitely a shorter problem. Okay, so now you're gonna say plus 16, plus 16. So I got eight X equals, what is negative 24 plus 16? Eight. Eight? Negative three? Negative eight. Negative eight? Okay, then what? Divide. So we got x equals negative one. 
Where do we plug that into? Into which one? The y equals, right? We always plug it into the one we have circled. But is there anywhere to plug in x? No, y is already solved for. What is y? Negative 4. We already know that. And so that's why this one I said you kind of get to skip some steps, okay? And it's go ahead and ready for the coordinates. And what are the coordinates? Negative 1, negative, one, negative 4, okay? I would like you guys to try to do four and 10.